kids want to see a dead body. Well, let's go to Logan.com. Today, well, it's a new year. It's a, we're new stuff, new special. We're taking it big. We're making it, we're making it good. You're the dog, you're my cop. Let's go, baby. So today, I'm gonna be making a three course uh, sushi ball, a sushi sticky, sticky ball concoction. I'm gonna be making an appetizer sushi ball, an entree sushi ball, and a dessert sushi ball. In ball number one, we got, where is it? In ball number one, we got some 100% real authentic Pacific Northwest crab. It's 100% organic. And then we got some cream. You can't have a rice ball to touch your baby cream. Mm, yeah, baby cream. How to fish get high? Seaweed, bitch. Number two ball. We're going to our entree, our main dish. It's chicken cordon bleu. I prepped the chicken beforehand, and by I, I mean Chad. Every chef needs a good helping hand. You think Hercules could have beaded Hades without Danny DeVito? We got chicken, we got cordon, we got blue. And then number three, we got a dessert one. This is gonna be weird. I've never had rice and chocolate, but that's what it is. We got some, we got some pocky for your little, you little anime bitches. I know all you little fucking weeb sauce out there, out there with all your little traps, your fucking, your little gay traps, huh? Think it's cute? It's not! Fucking gay! Let's begin. You think this is a joke? First, a step a -roo. One whole cream in a bowl, maybe? That's a lot of cream cheese. <laughs> Come here, Pearl. Come here and let me give you a pearl necklace, Pearl. You're not into that genre of porn. It's Mr. Krabs fucking his daughter. And he comes up to center field. And he hits a home run and he he's the next Sammy Sosa. We got some cream cheese crab adimbo. We got some more crab adimbo. If you guys don't know by now, I'm a, I'm a very hands-on chef. I like to make things with my hands. I like to mash, because everyone knows that a good man mashes all the bits. He doesn't leave no bits unmashed. He goes, Mama, you got any bits? Let me mash them. Let me mash them, Mama. That's 100% authentic Asian cuisine, I would say. You want to have a little winter wonderland in, in January? Well, now you got a fish bowl. You want to dunk your hands in the complimentary wet bowl? So you can grab your sticky wet rice. You want enough so it's like, make a little shit nest, a little shitty bird nest. You gotta ball your hands up like that so you can actually get some depth in there. This is a nice little party trick. You can invite all your friends over and then they'll go, wow, did you make this? Try to fuck me, hmm? Steven, did you invite me here to fuck you? If you use gloves, then you're not a chef, you're a pussy. I dumbed it down. If I showed you the real recipe, your head would explode. Fuck you. Isn't that, isn't that neat? Isn't that pretty? Ooh, who's that? Daddy in the tub? Oh, hey, Daddy. I didn't expect you so early. Usually you're not in the tub till about six. Why are you in the tub now, Daddy? Hi. Okay, I'll get out. I want to keep you guys guessing. Was I sexually assaulted? Do I have a good attitude about it? Or is it all a bit? Tune in. Maybe you'll find out. Maybe you won't. Um, near, far, where? Sometimes you gotta watch it. Even if you cook the chicken from the beginning, sometimes it's pork at the end. See that? This is where the ham go down. This is where the chicken go now. This is where the ham go down. This is where the chicken go now. Hey there, Delilah. What's it like inside my asshole? Okay, see, sometimes you gotta break a few eggs to make a few omelets cry. Yeah. Dab on them, dead, dead guys. Sorry about your death. Here's a Maverick t-shirt. I went to chef school of YouTube for six hours once, okay? I've subscribed to several cooking channels on YouTube. How to make sushi? <coughs> Binging with Babish? Uh, hot ones? I think I'm a professional, okay? <coughs> and your mouth is more sterile than you think. Mm. What does life even mean? We're all here. And we're just not. Now we're on to our dessert thing. Bro! We're gonna be making some yeet in the specials. Putting some chalky, some little Herbie's chalky. Yeah. Speaking of Asian stuff, did you guys hear about fucking Rich Chiga? Okay. He changed his rapper alias to fucking Brian. Cool. 
I know that's his name and everything, but that's already your name. Now you get to choose a whole new rap alias. You basically come up with a way to say the N-word, and then you throw it all away for Brian. Oh, you know what sucks the worst about this? Is like, you're not even thinking about the viewer, the listener. When I go to tell people about your music, and be like, hey, you guys, check out this song. And they're gonna be like, oh, this is awesome. Who's it by? I'm like, it was Brian. And I'm like, who? your friend? Like, who the fuck is Brian? I'm like, oh, you know, uh, the artist formerly known as Rich Chigga. And they're like, oh, why'd he change his name? And then I'm gonna have to sit there and explain, like, I fucking know why Rich Chigga changed his name to fucking Brian. <laughs> like, I'm gonna have some cool justification why Brian is better than saying the N-word, you Chinese N-word. Because good luck when people search, hey, can you, can you look up Brian on YouTube for me? Probably fucking not. Wanna do it right now? Go ahead. I'll wait. YouTube search Brian on YouTube. What's the first thing that pop? Is it Rich Chicka? I have a hard time believing that it is. Fuck you. I'm pissed. More Pocky. Go ahead and get your goo on. Now me till the end. You got your best friend. I'm a god. I am your god. You tiny, insignificant fuck. I show you the world, you chubby little fucker. Where my merch? This shit. Can you believe? I can't believe. Is it, does it look good? Is it focused? Fuck you. <laughs> Two hours later. I don't know if you saw the beautiful things that I made, but they somehow evo morphed into this beauty. Jared! Yeah, Come on. Hold on. Oh, hey, how'd you get here? <laughs> Quite cutie, almost a routine or a kilo. What is it? Uh, well, I got a three course meal for you, okay. all in rice yummies. So the first one we got the, uh, the appetizer. It's a little bit of crab and a little bit of cream cheese. It's just a yummy little appetizer. Then we got our main course, our, uh, our yummy, yummy. Look at this, this is fucking really For the main dish, we got a chicken cordon bleu all stuffed up in a nice little rice rice wrangle. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's, you know, do you know chicken cordon bleu? It's got chicken, mm -hmm. it's got ham. It's got blue. It's got blue. Right. And then we got our dessert one. It's got some pocky. You know, because we're making a weed dish. Mm -hmm. uh, so we got Pocky and it's stuffed with Hershey's and it's got some yummy Hershey's caramel dwizzle. <laughs> Carmi, Carmi dwizzle. Caramel dwizzle. Some yum Carmi dwizzle. So if you they look, look like tombstones, mm -hmm. like cute little tombstones. Rest in pizza! Cheers! Oh. Cheers, my brethren. Are you supposed to go out if you do like seaweed first? Mm -hmm. okay. I like it. Good? That is good. I mean, it's like halfway to a California roll already, mm -hmm. so I mean. It's like a cucumber. Mm -hmm. Professional chef over here. So what is this again? Main entree, this is a chicken cordon bleu. Ooh. Right? Oh, it's awful! Starting the new year off right, bitch! Logan! I like that a lot. Me too. I'm super good. I'm probably gonna eat this whole thing. Eventually. And then we got our cute little babies we gotta devour. I'm gonna break it open. Oh yeah, we get that cross section. Let's see what's inside Ooh. there. I've never had chocolate rice before. So a little be baby shit in there. Mm. Oh well. Wow. Really I didn't good. think the chocolate and rice would go well. Successful dish, Dickie. Primo. This is my life, this is me. Anybody want to see a dead body? Everyone needs a hero. Oh shit. Oh no. Logan. Oh no. Welcome oh, no. to New Year, bitch. Here we go. This one's for you. 